and um, Dr. Robert Kapoor, the chairperson of Makero University Academic Staff Association. Uh, I want to put the record clear, I've not been arrested, but there were attempts to arrest us uh, as part of foiling a general assembly that a joint staff association general assembly that was supposed to take place today, 1st of October 2024. Um, this was a result of uh, Serious and as a series of communications that we have issued regarding the harmonization of salaries of staff uh, for both a, a section of academic, administrative, and uh, support staff of Makero University. This is a matter that has been on for very many years, and uh, we were uh, we have been through a number of structured protracted engagements. We uh, <clears throat> As, uh, as of uh, 30th September 2024, we had uh, hopes, and much hopes by the way, that the university uh, would have harmonized salaries for, academic, uh, for, uh, for, for staff, both uh, some section of academic, administrative, and support. But to our dismay, this has not been done. Government allocated funds for salary harmonization, that is 12 billion, in the budget in the budget this money was released but to date staff have not been given this money the challenge at hand is that even when there are attempts to harmonize uh, we have seen letters that are demoting staff instead of harmonizing them they are removing them from higher positions to lower positions uh, we have many staff have not received letters for harmonization some of the staff that have received letters that would consider to be progressive, uh, the letters only indicate the salary scales, but they do not indicate the figures. We are asking ourselves, what is all this game about? And the point being that we are demanding for salary harmonization. Uh, today we are supposed to have a general assembly uh, with all staff. Unfortunately, uh, police, together with management, foiled this general assembly. Uh, we take strong exception to this uh, action because it can only create a toxic working environment which is not academic in all ways. And we believe that uh, management should style up, they should choose to engage. We have been engaging university management for some time. They should not choose to betray staff at this moment. And we demand that this money should be paid as soon as possible. And staff have agreed on a common position that come Monday, Monday next week, no one will step here. Staff need their money. This salary harmonization is a national undertaking to ensure that all staff in our public universities earn the same amount of money. And uh, when we did the computations, we were aligning ourselves to what public service had provided as an alignment for all staff to fit in a structure. And uh, that means that the harmonization is focusing on a certain categories of staff who have not been paid uh, equitably compared to their counterparts in other public universities. Yes. And we are aware that many other public universities have completed their journey of salary harmonization, and that's why there is peace in those universities. Here at Makerere, we don't know what is happening, and we need our money, which was allocated in the budget. We need our money. Staff need their money. That's the point. If we had computed areas, staff would be asking in trillions, maybe, because this salary inequity started in 2015, and staff that have been in post since then have uh, suffered this kind of injustice for all these years, to the extent that even when the money has been allocated, we see the university is not paying this money, meaning that any time staff are accumulating areas and they would be making losses, uh, regarding this money. So we, 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 we pray that this matter is handled as soon as possible and as agreed with the university. We don't want betrayals. So it was approved earlier in uh, April before the reading of the budget and it was included in the budget for the financial year 2024-2025. Uh, I want, I want uh, viewers to understand that uh, this matter, uh, the, I don't have the exact figures because what we computed uh, we have come to understand that actually management and appointments board have veered off from what they, what they are considering for, for, for harmonization. Initially, the harmonization was focusing on the, on, the figure, on, the, on the positions and the money, 
But what happened is that they introduced new credentials and we don't know whom they are harmonizing now. And that's why staff are saying, no, what we agreed at first, star all staff that had been computed their money should be paid their money. Our position is one, people want their money. This time around is not about looking for money. The government has released funds. From July to date, they are still playing around all the playing tactics of not giving people their salary. They made promises. This date that we are now in here wouldn't be here and would be in a better wider place than this and the population bigger than this. But they sent police to come and uh, disperse people. Now they have moved away from dialogue on the table to using force while they are hiding behind. But all in all, people want their money. And come Monday, people made a resolution, they are not coming back to work until money is paid. Money for harmonization of staff. This money must be released and all staff must be paid. This business of reporting staff should stop. This business of reporting staff should stop. Justin, who was coordinating?